Missouri's governor-elect Mike Kehoe won't take office until mid-January, but mayors from around the state are already lobbying him for a change to state law. Good evening, everyone. I'm Evie Allen. And I'm Taylor Freeman. Thank you so much for joining us here. The mayors sent Kehoe a letter advocating for change in state law regarding gun possession by minors. Kami Waits' Eric Lovelace is in the studio to tell us what the leaders are asking for. Eric. Yeah, so mayors from some of the biggest cities in Missouri signed this letter in my hand asking Kehoe to take a concrete step in protecting minors from the potential dangers of guns. And over the last year, from the ages of 10 to 17 years old, Columbia has seen an increase in both victims and offenders of firearm-related crimes. Now, one advocacy group I spoke to told me said they hope the incoming governor, in collaboration with some local leaders, can help to change that. It's personal for me. That's Kristen Bowen, president of the Columbia chapter of Moms Demand Action, an advocacy group dedicated to ending gun violence. I'm angry. That's why I'm involved in this issue. Leaders around Missouri are already speaking to the new administration. In a letter to Mike Kehoe, it says, quote, We owe it to ourselves and our state to protect our children. For us, this means changing Missouri's laws to establish a prohibition of juveniles possessing a handgun mirroring federal law. Columbia Mayor Barbara Buffalo was one of the mayors who signed this letter. She says she did this because she wants the new administration to know she's ready to work. Mayors of the fourth largest cities in Missouri uh, wanted to help collaborate on some of his public safety initiatives. The Missouri Constitution does not have a minimum age for possessing a firearm, and Buffalo says that should change. It's about making sure that we have state law that mirrors federal law in regards to um, minors in possession of handguns. In Columbia, both victims and offenders of firearm-related crimes from the ages of 10 to 17 years old increased. Victims went from 37 to 51, and offenders increased from 44 to 54. Buffalo says intervention at the state level is sometimes the answer. Collaboration help us figure out some of the local solutions that we can do, and some of that requires state law changes. The letter also asks that reported incidents at Missouri schools are made available for parents to view. Now, Governor Keogh will be sworn in on January 13th, 2025. In the studio, Eric Lovelace, KMU 8 News.